Chuck wanted to know about this, uh, how this Yabby farm thing works. So we've just got this uh, storage area down the side of the house that's full of useful junk. And uh, what I did, I got um, some of these drums. So these are uh, 100 litres, so uh, how long would they be? Anyway, whatever, about 26 gallons, something like that. So like this one, this is full of rainwater. So um, I got three of them and put them on their side here. And there's a, another drum, half a 200 litre drum here. Sorry, the space is a bit restricted. It's just a storage area. Um, so what I did, let's have a look. I just put them on a shelf and I reinforced the shelf because they'll be quite heavy. So there's plenty of timber down there supporting this rat. So it's just three drums. Now Yabby's are fantastic at escaping. So what I've done, I've just cut out the side of the drum. I wrapped them in this insulation material. I just uh, glued that on with some silicone to um, exclude the light so they don't grow a lot of algae in there. And um, also insulate the temperature when it gets hot in the summer. So what I did, um, I, I didn't have any fittings that would go through there so I just drilled this through and um, glued or siliconed in an irrigation fitting with a thread on it so I can, um, so this will return the water. So what I've done in, the, in this drum down the bottom here, it's got a couple of goldfish in there. Um, and I've just got a pump that comes up along the back here, along the back and runs into each one. Just, so it's removing water fresh oxygen and fresh water <coughs> I'll put the lids on there so they don't escape because they'll they're pretty good at escaping they'll climb out any way they can and they'll walk away so so that <coughs> black feed in line just dribbles a bit of water in there in each of them um, and then so I drilled, drilled a hole through here and glued this in with some silicone let it set for 24 hours and then assembled it so this pipe it's actually got a slight fall on it so that returns back into back into that drum down there and then I've just um, Filled it with uh, some sticks and a bit of gravel on the bottom and uh, a whole bunch of pot. Every time I get pot cuttings, I just sort of a pot of in there. And so that they've got area to hide in. They're pretty elusive. So what I've got, I've got the males in here, the females in here, and then I've got um, introduced a, a male and a female in here and there might be another one in there that's kind of random um, and when the weather warms up to about and the water warms up they'll breed hopefully so now the tricky part is um, I need to uh, probably clear that out and take the male and the female out of there and put them into another like a nursery where the um, the young can grow without being eaten by their parents. So these, I just kept, fill rainwater with this. So I mean, this um, this drum here has got a. Um, so I just catch rainwater off the gutters, and this fills, and then I just use that rainwater in my systems. And it's, so it's got a couple of cichlids in here, which I just caught at the creek. Uh, just so that mosquitoes don't grow. And then I just got a little pump, and that's just pumping up through a simple gravel filter here and returning. And then this, this is just a spare drum that's full of rainwater. 
I'll use that over the summer. And so that's, uh, that's that. Here I'm going to extend uh, the Yabby farm into this. I've got a table here. I need to reinforce this. And these two drums up here, like the three hours, I'll just cut a patch in there. And um, I think I'll get a fish tank. I'll uh, get a fish tank to go in here and um, I'll make a lid for this one and plumb these all in together and um, put a fish tank here and recirculate it with a pump and uh, put some yabbies in there. Try and breed them up as aquarium pets, you know. I need to reinforce this. I just made this table out of some pallets. I just need to reinforce it because of the weight of the water. It's pretty heavy. So that's another project. I want to get done. Everything takes time, you know. Thank you.